Psalms and Proverbs from Monday, April 6, 2020. We have Psalm 95, New King James, a call to worship and obedience. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, as in the rebellion, as in the day of the trial in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me, they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people who go astray in their hearts. You do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Proverbs 28, New King James, The righteous are bold as a lion. The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Because of the transgression of a land, many are its princes. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, right will be prolonged. A poor man who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain which leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoever keeps the law is a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. One who increases his possessions by usury and extortion gathers it for him who will pity the poor. One who turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. Whoever causes the upright to go astray in an evil way, he himself will fall into his own pit, but the blameless will inherit good. The rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has understanding searches him out. When the righteous rejoice, there is great glory, but when the wicked arise, men hide themselves. He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Happy is the man who is always reverent, but he who hardens his heart will fall into calamity. Like a roaring lion and a charging bear is a wicked ruler over poor people. A ruler who lacks understanding is a great oppressor, but he who hates covetousness will prolong his days. A man burdened with bloodshed will flee into a pit. Let no one help him. Whoever walks blamelessly will be saved, but he who is perverse in his ways will suddenly fall. He who tills his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows frivolity will have poverty enough. A faithful man will abound with blessings, but he who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, because for a piece of bread a man will transgress. A man with an evil eye hastens after riches, does not consider that poverty will come upon him. He who rebukes a man will find more favor afterward than he who flatters with the tongue. Whoever robs his father or his mother and says it is no transgression, the same is companion to a destroyer. He who is of a proud heart stirs up strife, but he who trusts in the Lord will be prospered. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, and whoever walks wisely will be delivered. He who gives to the poor will not lack that he who hides his eyes will have many curses. When the wicked arise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. All right, and the links are there as usual if you want to check that out for yourself. So give it a thumbs up if you like that, and click the bell if you want to subscribe. 
Leave a comment, question, prayer request. Love to hear from you. So have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.